hi, this is Anne, and this is another one of the lessons for making this little fabric envelope with the little felt cups, melted cups. And today I'm going to talk about the beading and show you how I do the beading. The cups, we're going to pretend this is one of the cups, or two of the cups. And the beads can be in the cups either, well, they can be just randomly in there, or you can have them so they're kind of a little circle, and this they're sort of a straight line going from one point. So if I want the beads to go more in a circle, as opposed to straight lines like this, it's going to make a difference in where I do the thread, how I put the thread. So for the circle, I'm going to bring the thread like this. So that's a thread going through the bead. Those are beads. And here, the threads are going to all be going the same direction. And that's just going to make a difference in how your beads go on um, inside your little felt cup. But again, it doesn't matter. You can just do it random. I have some beads. I have some felt, melted felt cups. I have thread. And I'm using a beading needle. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm using quilting thread, hand quilting thread just because that's what I have a lot of. So I take one of my little cups and I turn it over so I'm on the back side and I'm going to st stick my needle in, just grabbing a little bit, maybe a little more than that, a little bit of that back fuzzy part of the felt. And I pull it through, not all the way, I usually do pull it all the way through and I have to start over, but anyway, I'm going to just pull it through a little and then I'm going to take a little bit more. And I'm not going into the inside. If you put a lot of beads, it wouldn't matter, it won't show, but um, I don't really want to go on the inside, so I'm leaving a little tail, and I'm going to pull it through again. And you could take your thread, needle rather, through your thread and make it into a little knot. I usually don't want the bulk back there, so I wouldn't necessarily do that. But if it feels more secure for you, you go ahead and do it that way. And then I'm going to come up somewhere in the in center of my cup, near the center of my cup. And not quite right in the center knowing that this is going to be going through the first bead. So I have it pulled up. And I'm going to grab a bead onto my needle and let it go down into the cup. And I'm going to, I'm going to see about where it's laying. And then I'm going to go pretty close to that other thread depending on which direction I want it to go, on the other side of the end of the thread where the thread came up. And I'm going to stick the needle down. And hopefully, the bead will stand up and there won't be a lot of thread showing. Now I really wanted that bead to go, rather than straight, I wanted it to go at an angle toward the center. So I'm going to bring the next, the next one, bring the needle up near the center again, put another bead on, my, my bead needle is very bent, but that doesn't bother me. If yours bends and it bothers you, then use a different needle. And you can see where my thread is. And I'm going to bring this one just a little bit away from where I came up. a little fiddly with fingers in the way and I'm going to pull it down. So if I was just doing this and not trying to film it, I'd be able to get them going more in the direction I wanted. I could hold it a little closer to my face. But so I'll just kind of cluster them in there. Put as many as I want or as few as I want. Tight together or loose. I have crows outside. I don't know if you can hear them. They're really carrying on. And you can kind of bring your needle back in and stand those up. Or your fingernail. And I think that really on this one, four is okay. I don't usually like even numbers, but that looks kind of pretty. So I'm going to flip it over once I know that they're pulled tight, and I'm going to just do the same thing I did to begin. I'm going to grab a little bit of that thread on the back. Whoops, a little bit of the fuzz and a little bit of the thread. And then I'll do it again. And this time I will go through so it sort of knots. I 
And then I'm just going to clip that off close. And then for this project, I'm going to do some more beads in one, one more center, and I might do them in this part as well. And I'll show you how I attach them to the fabric envelope in the next lesson. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Be sure and tap the bell. That'll let you know when I have new videos coming up. Thanks a lot for watching.